Good morning, Minecraft. This is Bullscat, and this is 613. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey. How's it going? And uh, we want to show you guys today this AFK cow farm that we created here for 1.9. Alright, so Ryan's going to jump in the cart here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit a couple buttons. First, the switch back here. And uh, what that's going to do is just start dispensing wheat up into the cart path as Ryan goes through. So it keeps his inventory full of wheat. And the next thing you want to do is this button just here. This is going to activate the water. Uh, the cows are going to instantly start bobbing up and down, back and forth. Um, and you just sort of spam them with wheat and they'll breed and produce little cows which will then fall down into a water stream and down into the chamber. And this is the part that's totally AFKable because you can keep your right but uh, mouse button clicked all the time just like you do other AFK farms and things like that and you can walk away for quite a while. Um, how many cows do you recommend having in here? I would say about 80 cows. 80 cows should be more than enough um, you don't want to have too many because the more cows, the more babies, and the more lag. So yeah, you want to keep it to a reasonable amount, I would suggest. Um, again, it is down to like the server's specification. If you've got quite a meaty server, more cows, on you go. But less cows, I would say, is probably safer. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. So down here we've got the third feature here, which is the lava bucket. It doesn't instantly do lava, but what it does is it starts a timer and um, basically after 4 minutes and 15 seconds it's going to go ahead and shoot through there and uh, basically it clicks twice so it shoots the lava out and then sucks it back into the dispenser um, so it won't kill baby cows as they fall down in there um, but it will kill any of the adults that are in there so um, basically that's the other feature that allows you to keep uh, AFK. Um, so anyway we're going to go ahead and crack on with the tutorial um, we'll quickly show you guys the redstone back here. It's not too much of it, uh, and we'll explain it as we go along. Um, the different colors are the different circuits that run the three different features. So, um, unless you had anything else to add there, Ryan, we can go ahead and jump into the tutorial. No, I'm good. I think that you think you you've got everything there. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys. So to get started with this farm, what you want to do is grab the contents off this chest. As you can see, the redstone isn't too demanding, nothing too expensive. But yeah, just go ahead and grab all of this stuff right here. Uh, what you'll need for the first bit is we're going to be building the main body. Align myself here. Jump up by five blocks. Break those underneath and place three blocks on either side, just like this. Remove the middle one and place a dispenser facing upwards. Next thing you want to do is go underneath and just fill in these blocks here. So it's a three wide, completely full um, structure. Then just come around here by one more as well. And on the other side, just like that. The next thing you want to do is come up these two blocks here and just carry this all the way around the whole farm. So at this point you should have something that looks just like this, two deep with one um, with a one deep trench around the center here. Um, the next thing you want to do is grab yourself the building blocks once more, go two up like that, and then press signs on these three here, same on the other side, one on the edges, and also just all the way along here as well. Okay, so the next stage, what we're going to do is the opposite where you place these two blocks just here. I'm going to come down and remove these bottom three blocks here. This is where the cows are going to come in and be funneled down. Place a sign just there as well. And then you want to come down an extra block just like that. Oh, nope, it should be just like that even. My apologies. And uh, fill that in with the glass. It doesn't have to be glass, it can be any block you like. But I just prefer glass so you can see the farm actually working. And the uh, next thing you want to do is just come down by a couple of blocks here. One just there. And this is where the cows are going to be kept. Um, here, so put another sign just there. 
and a dispenser. They are facing into the um, one by one chamber like that. Right, so at this point you should have something that looks just like this. Um, one thing I would do just now is place your chest right there and a hopper going into the back of it. Um, so this way when the cows fall down, the items will be su sucked up um, automatically. And just put a half slab there that will prevent any cows from escaping. At this point I would just go ahead and fill in these blocks um, so you can hide the redstone behind it. And it does look better. Oops. It does look a lot better this way. Now at this stage what you want to do is come up top here and from this block in the center just put a line of blocks around the edge above the signs. This is where the cows will be stored um, for breeding. And, this, and now you want to come out one other block and then one block after that also. Place one block up top just like that and another on the other side. Now this first circuit is the easiest one, all you're going to do is place a dispenser facing upwards like that, grab yourself a hopper, you don't have a hopper ready, grab yourself a hopper and run it into the side, and then run powered rails over all of these. Okay guys, so now that the structure of the farm is complete, I'm going to show you the redstone for the first major circuit, uh, which is going to be the lava bucket that goes off every four minutes and 15 seconds. So first thing I want to do is put a block here just below the dispenser and I want to stick a redstone torch on top of that and then below that we want another one and I'm just going to break some of this out and give yourself a little bit of space here um, and that's basically what you're after. So underneath that one we're going to run another torch to give us a little torch tower up and then what you want to do is a redstone repeater set to at least two ticks. Two is good here. Um, and then you want this one set to four, this one set to four, and this one set to four. And go ahead and connect those up with redstone. And so basically what's going to happen is the signal is going to come through and it's going to tick through this repeater into here first. And so that will, that will be the first tick. And then after that, it will come around through these three repeaters and give the second tick to bring the lava back into the dispenser. So now what we need to do is set up the timer part. And so what we want to do is put a block on top of that to cut the signal down. And then from here we want just a redstone repeater set to one tick and then redstone dust under here. And then on top of that redstone dust you want to place a block of redstone. And then from there we're going to put a piston there and a piston there. And on this side of the piston we want redstone here and then next to that we want a block and then oops I just moved that repeater so back make sure that's on two ticks <laughs> and then basically you want a comparator here and then you want a hopper next to that sorry facing you want the hoppers facing each other but right next to where that redstone block you want to make sure that redstone block is next to one of them no matter what and then basically from there you want a, another comparator just like the other side and you can see Ryan gave me a little extra space here uh, we got another block there and the redstone there so that should complete that circuit uh, we found that you if you fill all of the items all of the hopper timer sorry all of the hopper item spaces with blocks it will be four minutes and 15 seconds so I've got one stack in there so it will go ahead and go through that and then we'll see that timer. Let me cut that down a little bit. So basically, as soon as that gets down, you're going to see that tick through. One tick, two ticks. So that's what's going to go ahead and move that through. Um, but like I said, make sure you fill this hopper with all, all five slots need to be full of 64 items. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in... And the other circuit here, we want a block there, and we want a repeater on top of that. And what this is for is the shutoff. So we're going to put another block there, and redstone on top of that. And then redstone there, and then when we grab a lever, we can hook it up on this side right here. And then what that'll do is that'll turn 
the redstone on top of the hoppers on, which will lock these guys right where they're at, so it'll turn your timer off. And that's it for that. We're going to go ahead and shoot over to Ryan here and let him go ahead and get the water set up for us. Okay, so once you've got the hopper clock put in for the lava, it's time to move on to the water that will help you breed the cows. The first thing you want to do is come to this center strip here, uh, place a block just there with a torch on the inside, just like that. Then grab a block like that, remove that one, come back a couple just like this. Now here is where the um, button is going to be placed. This is where you're going to activate the water itself. So you want to find that, then find a way to bring that signal down, just like this. Like. And that is going to allow you to just place some redstone on there, and with a repeater running into the back of this. Have a repeater. Just like that. It doesn't have to be set to anything, just leave it at the, the default speed, and that is that circuit complete. Okay, for our third major circuit here, we're going to go ahead and stick a redstone block there, or a block of redstone. And then, actually, I'm going to move that first, just because it's easier to put these guys down. And it's the same basic build that we did down here. Um, so, what we're going to do is, again, try to have a dot of redstone next to that piston. We're going to build up and over. And basically what we want to do is have that comparator running into that block again. And then from there we want the two hoppers facing into each other again. And then the same thing on the other side. So we'll go ahead and put a block there. And then get rid of that one. Okay, so we want that dot of redstone on this one here. And then have the comparator running into that. So that basically completes the clock, but what we want to do is actually throw an extra dot of redstone on top here, because once you put something in these hoppers, one of these comparators will be going off at any given time, and so this redstone on top of these two blocks on the outsides here that is going to power the rails for us. We don't need anything extra to power the rails, so go ahead and stick four items in the in there and that's going to go ahead and keep this powered as well as dispense the wheat obviously I just threw leather in there but that'll be wheat and that will be what um, keeps your inventory stocked full of wheat so the only other thing here left to do is I want to put a shutoff switch on top of these two blocks with that and then from there the only thing left to do is we want to just add a hopper here. This is this is uh, optional, um, but what this does, ugh, see if I can get this, is allows you to have a place where you can put um, a chest or anything, or even a wheat farm hot coming in here, so that you've always got wheat going in there. Um, let me grab an extra rail, and then that's basically that. Uh, no, I told the circuits are all fine. Um, the only thing that is left to do for the remainder of the farm is to come around here inside the structure again and place two water sources, one there and one there also. This is where the cows will be, the, ba the baby cows, sorry, will be filtered out. They'll be shot into these little streams and they'll come around into the front here. And what you got to do now is grab another sign and just place it right there. That way the cows can come in and just fall straight down. So guys, that is the whole farm completed there. You, know, you, you got all the water sources. Be sure to add a, a water bucket into this dispenser right here. Oops. And a lava bucket into the other one. And that will be you complete. Of course, the last thing you got to do is bring in the cows. You can bring them in um, through any means you find preferable. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, maximum 80 cows, depending on the server strength. Perfect. All right, well, if you guys want to see another perspective, check out uh, Ryan's channel. And if you've been watching it on Ryan's channel, <clears throat> feel free to hop on over to my channel and take a look at it from my perspective. Um, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, make sure you spawn-proof your area so that uh, the AFKing is safe. And uh, you can expect to see a lot of... Uh, items from this. Uh, make sure you uh, check out any other videos we've been putting out. We're both on the uh, Amplicraft server, 
And uh, feel free to pop over and check out our channels anytime. And we will be seeing you guys in the future. Have fun out there. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> that was so funny. He was <laughs> talking and he's like creeping around the corner. <laughs> uh, I thought you were laughing at me. I was like, nope, that's it. Confidence going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man.